Hello guys, uh, Free here. Welcome to the channel. So today I'm going to show you how to build an application that allows you to upload data into a cloud object store like uh, S3 really quickly. Uh, S3 is a very versatile uh, environment for storing data, structured data, semi-structured data, and the use cases abound. Uh, you might be trying to load data to uh, power your front-end application. You might be trying to collaborate with users or you might be building internal applications within your organization and having data in s3 is uh, a very very good use case that people uh, tend to have a lot so uh, one of the things that i like and we're going to be doing this really quick demo using my one of my favorite tools i'm really liking it more and more which is read to allowing for just native uh, quick and easy app development uh, and prototyping within organizations or just for personal use. So uh, we're gonna be using Retool uh, for the demo. So what you're gonna do with Retool, if you're trying to uh, set this up in Retool, is just make sure you're logged in. Now, there's something that we're gonna need uh, to make this work. That The first thing we need is uh, creating a resource. So what you wanna do is go up to your resource page uh, here, and you can create a resource. And what you want to do is create uh, a resource for S3. All right, so just make sure that you create a new resource. And what resource would that be? In this case, we want S3. And you can give it a resource name, so you can call it Fruit Tech. Um, on the S3 side, make sure you get the access key and the secret, and you put that all in. So that's required. And if you want this to go to a specific bucket, uh, just go ahead and put that all in, and Retool is going to use that. Now, once you have that, because I already created one, which we're going to use, uh, so I'm not going to create it again. So once you have that, the next thing is to go and to build an application. So what you want to do is go back to applications. Uh, applications tends to use resources. Resources could be connections to S3 like we saw. It could be connections to databases like Snowflakes. And once you have that, now we're going to build an application. So let's go in. We're going to create a new application. And uh, we want this to be a blank application. So just call this uh, Frotech uh, S3 uh, Retool or just call it S3 Upload, right? So give it a name of your application. My trials expanded, so hopefully that doesn't uh, become an issue. So I'm not gonna go into every other thing you can do in Retool. It's a very, very powerful tool. I've done demos on this, so watch some of my demos. But today we're just focusing on, you wanna allow your users to quickly upload data into S3, and you wanna give them an application that allows them to do it. So let's, let's come in here. Now, this is not necessary. But I'm going to do uh, just a secular image here from a branding perspective. I'm just going to throw my, my image there. Nice puppy, but we're going to replace that with the logo. So we have our logo. All right. All good. Logo doesn't upload data for us into S3. So what does? Uh, what we need is we're going to insert a component. And there is a component here for S3. And this is S3 uploader. All right. So what you want to bring is drag that here. Ideally, I'm not going to be using uh, S3 uploader in my header. I'm going to put in a container and do a, a little bit more design. But again, the focus here is functionality, All right? So we have a button, uh, upload to S3. So let's customize this. If you go to the right side, the button is going to be upload to S3. Uh, what is the bucket name? So the bucket name is what we have here. And my bucket, I know, is through bucket uh, on S3. So we want to go ahead and put in the bucket name, which is through uh, bucket, all right? And then uh, we also want to select the resource that we created. So uh, the resource uh, from that connection, so think about the resource as a connection. Uh, so I'm going to select my resource. And if I want this to go into a particular folder, so I want this to go into my retool folder, I'm just going to specify uh, the, the folder where I want this to go. Now, there's other more configurations you can do. Uh, uh, for triggering events before or after uh, the, your data is loaded. So I'm just going to keep this basic and, and leave everything as, as uh, custom. If you want specific file formats to be uploaded, you can also go and uh, uh, do those selections. Now, this is all good and ready to go. But if you're setting this up, you might run into an issue. And I'm going to show you what you need to do to make sure that this uh, actually works. All right. So what you want to do is go back into your S3 bucket and um, let's just go back one level into my S3 bucket and you want to go into properties in that bucket. So I have a, a, a tons of uh, stuff going on there. So you want to go into properties and just scroll down. 
slowly so op op permissions so scroll down and make sure that you have this uh, text pasted in your your course so cross origin resource sharing um, paste this in there and the way you're going to grab that is just go over to the documentation of uh, on retool and search for s3 integration uh, scroll all the way uh, somewhere in the middle of the page and you're going to see this json file for for configuring calls so cross site or cross origin resource uh, sharing uh, make sure that's pasted in there uh, edit it paste it and that's good so that's really all we need and make sure that's saved and then of course you're going to have to make sure that you've uh, provided uh, the necessary um, um, access uh, controls for the user or for your principal or for your IMM role that's accessing S3. So all of that should be in place. But once you have that now, we have an application where we can come in. If we go back here to my bucket, to my objects, and I'm looking at uh, Ritu, and my folder is empty. All right, so let's go back to application. Uh, assuming we, we share this, we deploy this application to our end users, um, mine might not deploy just because, again, I'm uh, working around with a free version here that's uh, kind of expiring. So, But what you're going to do is just uh, click on Upload. I have some uh, logos. We don't want to do logos. So let's go to uh, Download, find a video that I just uh, recorded. And what we're going to do is uh, open that file. Uh, I know it's a video file. And uh, just like that, the Upload is successful. And if I go over to my... S3 uh, location, boom, my file is there, and this could trigger a Lambda. This could be uploaded to Snowflake. This could be uh, put into a stage. There are so many things you can do uh, once that file is showing uh, has shown up in, um, in S3. And the beauty about this is this is an application. This is an app that I can deploy to my organization now. I can give to users. I can uh, build my own uh, startup if I wanted to, right? There are a lot of things that you can then do with, uh, with this functionality. Uh, you'll be surprised that uploading to S3 is such a ubiquitous thing that uh, people tend to do almost every single day. But having an easy way to do that, um, not as programmers, but as uh, allowing the average uh, non-technical person to do is, 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 is in great demand. So having this functionality is, is huge. Now, um, uh, Retool doesn't have one for Azure. Uh, ADLS or GCS, uh, Google Cloud Storage. I'm sure that might be coming, but uh, for S3, uh, this is what we have. So hopefully this video uh, gives you a way to quickly build an application uh, to upload data to S3 and uh, the setup that you might need uh, to make that happen. As always, thanks for, for watching and joining us with this very quick tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to let me know in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Again, thanks for watching. This has been Fru. You have been awesome. I'll see you next time.